Gitto is a fully open source game development tool. That means anyone, any developer can add any features they want to add to their engine by themselves. But not every feature can be added directly to the engine. Committing can be a hard task to do and uh, not every feature or tool is needed for general public. So developing these feature directly into the engine can be hard. For that, a really good resource or a way to go about this can be creating it as a plugin. Many developers go through this route and develop some really amazing tools. In today's video, we're exploring some of these. So let's get started. First up on the list is GOAT, Gido Open Adventure Template. I love those kind of games where you like go around, adventure around, you interact with objects like letters and cars and things and uh, it's a really common mechanic in horror games and uh, uh, simulation games and those kinds of mechanics are really easy to create using Go. This is a simple template that includes uh, some really useful features like uh, dialogue using uh, subtitles or interactions and all sort of different features like viewing objects in a little bit of a space it's really amazing and uh, you can like do things like uh, interacting pick up objects we have inventory you can interact with objects and like open them up close them interact with this computer or stuff like that and it's really amazing and if you want to try out this add-on i will leave the link in the description link. Gido had a visual scripting tool back in the version 3.5 but was removed when version 4 was released. Orchestrator adds the Gido's visual scripting capabilities back to it and gives it a new spin. I am really impressed how much work the developer has put into this and the documentation plus the presentation of the pages is really amazing. Plus the add-on itself is quite capable so definitely check it out if you are thinking to make games using visual scripting in Gido 4 definitely a good add-on Gido is not short of 3d physics engine alternatives but I haven't seen m many impressive add-ons for 2d quark physics is one of the most impressive 2d physics engine plugins that I've seen on the asset library and probably on the internet. The examples show the capabilities that this engine and the add-on brings and I'm especially impressed with the physics body capabilities that the engine brings. I am really a fa really big fan of uh, f physics and uh, rigid body and simulations and uh, soft body physics but Gido has some not very impressive examples. The engine has a lot of things that uh, we need and uh, the 2D capabilities and the physics is quite impressive. Plus the add-on itself has a soft body system so something like that being integrated directly into the physics engine without much to effort is especially amazing. The soft body capabilities are amazing and uh, and up until now, I haven't seen any kind of engine showing this level of good quality. Plus, it looks quite performant and I am definitely going to give it a really deep look in the future. For now, the examples that the plugin shows are still quite impressive. And I must give a hats off to the presentation they have provided to show the capabilities of the plugin. So, a definitely a worthy plugin for your next game. A while back, I showed off an add-on called Post Presses. Post FX is a rewrite of this add-on and now with improved capabilities and a new approach. I presume this now works with resources and has way more effects than before. You can see the example of some of the effects here, but it's not fully updated, so the developer need to update the GitHub page. It has planned for some really amazing effects in the future and is in active development. I really love the add-on and I hope you'll use it in your post-processing. 
This plugin might not be as impressive as any of the other add-ons in this list, but it's certainly really useful. Code Capture is a simple add-on that lets you capture your screenshots of your code. It's a perfect solution for people who are constantly creating documentations, GDD or game design documents and sharing their code with their audience. It's a really amazing way for developers to show their code to others without having to try to capture the screenshot and struggling with it. Definitely a good add-on. Scalable Vector Shape 2D is an another impressive add-on by Revendoriarch. It turns vector art into native ghetto nodes so you can edit them directly inside the engine. It is an amazing tool for working with vectors and uh, Revendoriarch, I hope I am pronouncing his name right, make some videos to tell how the add-on works be sure to check out his channel and uh, see more about this add-on this add-on is really cool survival's toolkit is a really amazing add-on that provides you simple code and a starter kit for creating 3d vampire survival style game it's a c sharp based ghetto 4 project and it's really amazing it provides things like uh, a simple player character, movement, enemy, enemy stats, boss movement, and boss spawning stats, and upgrades for player and enemy, and some minimal UI. It's a really st good starter kit for people who are willing to make their own vampire survival like games. Do you remember the Nvidia showcase where they showcase how? You can make NPCs talk and interact using AI LLMs. Like you can say something to the uh, NPC with your own words, writing text, and then they will respond with AI LLMs. That now is completely possible inside the Kido Game Engine using this amazing plugin called Nobody Who. It's really amazing. You can now give your AI a personality and then you can say anything to him and now he will respond according to his personality it's so amazing and now the, you can do it completely open source totally locally without using much gpu hardware i will make a complete tutorial how you can set this up using ghetto and definitely a really nice add-on and that would be it for today's video and uh, if you are willing to support me my channel you can support via patreon and uh, you can watch any other videos if you are willing to watch and i'll see you in the next one